Hey guys, what is going on? It is Apple Alley uh, NXI here. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to add NPCs to a game or your Roblox game in studios. It's pretty easy. It's simple. Uh, next video will be about dialogue or next tutorial will be about dialogue. So here we go. So first what you want to do is you want to go into develop, develop and find a game that you want. Um, so I'm going to do this game, which what is this? It's the game that I have been using for uh, my friend in modeling and doing thumbnails for her. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Um, I did like three other videos. They didn't really come out good sound quality wise. So what you want to do first is you just want to click, uh, you want to go to test and you want to press play, not run. There's a little thing down there and it says run, but you, all you have to do is press play. So what you want to do is when you first get in, you will stand straight. You want to press pause right away, right away. <laughs> and make sure your character is straight. Um, then what you want to do is you want to go to players. Um, actually, before uh, you uh, press pause, if you want to do a friend or something, you go to their profile. Um, Let's just let's do her. Uh, you go to her profile and you just get her ID and you um, you go into players. You double click and then you click on once on the thing and you go to the first set of numbers and you just uh, paste. Um, you paste your friend's ID and you reset in the game and it will come out as your friend. Um, why am I upside down? I'm upside down over there. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, anyway, so what you want to do now is um, you want to go to workspace and you want to find player because that's what you're in. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to ungroup it all and you're going to regroup it. Nope, don't want to do that. No. <laughs> I never said any of that. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, um, I, I just messed up. Um, I'm going to do that so I can just do this. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop. <laughs> We're going to do this again. Okay. Now, now, what you're going to do is you find player and you're going to group it. Um, don't click anything else. Then you're going to re-click on something. You're going to right-click again, right? And then you're going to group it all. And then what you're going to do is... Um, <laughs> Um, you're gonna copy it because it's a model now so you're gonna copy it and then you're gonna stop playing and then you're gonna control V it press alt or you're going to do something else what what's happening okay uh, alt L and you're just gonna click on the model do it again and so you can move it okay so now <clears throat> so you can move it now um, so my explorer didn't open again and normally this will glitch but i'm not sure why it glitches for me but it just does so you're gonna click play again and then once it's done you're gonna click stop and it should be there okay so now we're here and the easiest part right now is to find the pants and shirt that you want i suggest to do this before so it goes quicker for you but you're gonna just click the id and this one before was i'm guessing six so this is the pants that it will look like. What you're going to do is you can just subtract the last number, so it would be 5 instead of 6. And you'll get this template. If it has a 0, I suggest not doing it. Um, and if if you subtract 1, you know, and it goes to a game, I suggest. Or if it's a copied um, uh, outfit, I suggest not. <laughs> it took me a minute. Uh, I suggest not using it because um, it will take you a game or like a model or something. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on shirt. Which one did I get? I got pants first. So you're just going to click on shirt or pants and then you're going to go to this little box. If it doesn't have the box there, it's, the skin. it's still going to be the same. And you're just going to control that V and then press enter. This is the only way that's going to work. I used the wrong one. Whoops. I just did that. Okay. Okay. So you want to go here. Nope, that's model. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm going to name mine my username. You can name it whatever you want. If you don't want the name there, just put um, X, just put this. Just keep pressing spacebar until you want to stop. You let your anger out on it. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the little box and you're just going to double click and then press Control V. And you want to press Enter because this is the only way they'll work. Then you're going to get a shirt and you're just going to do the same thing but with the shirt. Um, I'm not going to do a. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't, I want a shirt because I look terrible without a shirt. Okay, so now you have your character and you have the clothes that you want. Uh, if you don't want the health, then uh, all you do is you go to humanoid and you press zero and then you press another zero there and it will be gone. 
Um, another thing is also if you want to change body colors, you know, you can just go there and stuff like that. That stuff is easy. But then what you want to do is you want to press on health and just hold down control and go to sound and animate and you want to just delete those. Now, as you said before, I have a, I have a package on and I want to keep the package, so I'm just going to keep the thing and I'm not going to delete it. But if you don't want the package, I'm pretty sure if you delete it, it should be there. So, um, yeah, see, it, it'd be there. It, it would be gone. But I want the package, so I'm going to keep the package on. Okay, next part. Um, I uh, F3X is uh, okay to use if you want to move around your model and repose it. That's fine with me. I don't care. I'm not you. <laughs> so I have I really don't have anything to say. But if you don't, um, what you can do is you can keep it in studios. If you're recognized with studios and you know how to build from studios instead of using F3X, you can just do it in studios. But I prefer to do it with F3X if you're new to studios and you just want to do simple stuff with st studios and let you hire a script or script. Um, <clears throat> Which, please don't hire me. I do not script. <laughs> um, so, what you want to do is, uh, for moving around your model, is I suggest turning. You see this one stud, one fifth stud off. I would choose off because it's way easier in joint and you're going to press never. Um, move. Uh, you might want to go into the explore and pick. pick um, rotate it. Stuff like that. Um, yeah. So... Now, for hats, I'm not really good at, but if you want a hat, come here, we'll just do this. Um, I'll go to the this annex eye, and I will just copy the pirate hat, and I'm gonna paste it. You know, and I'm not really gonna like put it on my character because I already have a character, and I did, like I said, I did do this once and it didn't really come out too well <laughs> so yeah and then what you want to do is you just want to once you're done you just want to nope don't do that nope 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 stop and then what you just want to do is you want to move it into uh, your uh, you just want to move it into your uh, model um, so yeah that's how you add it um, yeah <laughs> That's basically what this today was. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Uh, stay strong, my apple saplings. Um, I did talk kind of fast today. If there's any questions, just comment below and ask me. I will most likely answer back, um, depending if I do get any comments. I cry. Um, so uh, this video will be uploaded way before uh, this up video will be uploaded before my video that I made yesterday but hasn't uploaded yet because I'm too lazy to download it on my computer. I'm just kidding. Because um, <laughs> I'm too lazy to uh, customize the thumbnail just yet. So I will be doing that yet uh, soon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like I said before, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you and the next tutorial I promise I will have a webcam for. Um, yeah. So, and uh, normally my tutorials are uncut, so yeah, I ho like I said before, I, ho I hope this helped you. And my next gameplay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, um, depending on uh, the software I use is uh, up there on top of the... Um, on top of the screen when you watch this video <laughs> I cry um, I did not get the full version so that's why it is there I used to have the full version but um, it I I had to make a new login because me and my dad forgot it and I use my dad's money because I am so cool um so yeah like I said before I hope this video helped you I love you my apples happening stay strong uh, the sock army will rule this world once and for all uh, soon um, <laughs> a lot of talking and my jaw hurts okay um so yeah peace yeah I, I don't know how to end this video to be honest <laughs> don't know where this video went otherwise tutorialing so yeah <laughs>